Greetings everyone. In this period of COVID-19 pandemic, our Church House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations is broadcasting live programs on all social media platforms. On Sundays at 9 a.m. we have our prophetic messages and prayers. On Tuesdays at 10 a.m. we have our prophetic hour. On Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. we have the Yoruba program. And on Friday at 5.30 p.m. we have our breakthrough hour. All these weekly services will be handled by our general overseer himself, Prophet Shegwa Deomi. As you reach us online, our Lord will reach you online as well and meet you at the point of all your needs. Remember to wash your hands regularly with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Stay at home, social distance. Let us support our government in the fight against this coronavirus. Jesus is Lord. I'm excited to be with you in the worship of our Creator this morning. Welcome you to our Supreme Ministries for All Nations live broadcast. Today, our Father in the Lord, Prophet Shegun Adeomi, will be ministering to you. We we'll pray that your life will be transformed and changed for good. Always remember, you are the flock of the Lord who cannot be separated by space or time spiritually. Please keep your likes and comments coming in. We appreciate them. Stay blessed. I send my greetings to everyone that has the opportunity of watching this telecast. Um, my name is Prophet Sheikh Wadewumi, and uh, what I want to discuss with you today is an encouragement for you in the time of distress, when things are not looking good. You see, there's something in the, there's a word in the Bible that uh, says in the Psalm 23, verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Rod is something that is used to beat the animal. So when it uh, you know, goes out of the way. So but uh, the staff is the one that they use to pilot the animal in the right direction. Both belongs in the stick. Both of them are in the stick. So the stick is used to correct. This is used to direct. So the Bible says, the intention, the motive behind both is to comfort you, to put you in the, uh, on your way to your destiny. So that's why in um, Romans chapter number 8, verse 28, the Bible says, all things work together for good, for those that love God, and those that are called according to His will. So God will pilot you and take you to His place. So, but it's not always rosy. Uh, Exodus chapter 23, Verse 20 says, After my anger before you to lead you on the way and take you to the place that I prepare for you to your destiny, lead you on the way. So, the next verse says, 
I do not provoke him because he will not pardon your transgression. So one time when we are going out of the way, the rod is used to wallop us and take us back to the place. So don't feel God has lost interest in you or God has abandoned you. If you are going through any um, challenge, he didn't promise you smooth journey. He only promised safe landing. And I can tell you that you are going to land safely in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 14, verse 3. The Bible insists that I will harden Pharaoh's heart. That was God. So that he will pursue the children of Israel. So that he will, able, he will perish. So that he won't continue to be threats to them. Sometimes one, God, one, God wants to favor you. And then he will make the enemy to come after you. So that the enemy can perish. The Bible says in Psalm uh, 92, uh, sometimes you see the enemy look like it's getting strong, waxing strong. The Bible says concerning the enemy. When the wicked spring up like grass and when the workers of iniquity flourish it is that they may be destroyed forever so when you are doing righteous work you stay on your righteous work focus don't let them distract you when they distract you then you won't lose this joseph was to be the head of the family of his father's home that was the interpretation of his dream but because they don't want him to be they sold him to slavery but he eventually became the head of a nation. He became the economic advisor of the biggest economy in the world. So, brethren that are listening to me, I want you to see on course, whatever is your challenge now, believe that God is with you. He will say, I will be with you in your affliction. I will not abandon you. And uh, he say, your righteousness is from me. So, and uh, in, uh, in the same Romans, chapter 8, verse 31, he said, if God is with us, who can be against us? Whatever you are going through now, don't let it distract you from focusing on the destiny that God has given to you. I will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, your children are listening to this. Some of them are now being harassed. They are being embarrassed. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They don't know what next to do. They are confused. Now, take them out of confusion. Lead them on the path of righteousness. This speed of conversion of distraction is gone in Jesus' name. You are focused now. You are getting to your destiny. The promise of God in your life will become fulfilled. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kabar greetings everyone. In this period of COVID-19 pandemic, our church, House of Prayer Ministries for All Nations, is broadcasting live programs on all social media platforms. On Sundays at 9 a.m., we have our prophetic messages and prayers. On Tuesdays at 10 a.m., we have our prophetic hour. On Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m., we have the Yoba program. And on Friday at 5.30 p.m., we have our breakthrough hour. All these weekly services will be handled by our general overseer himself, Prophet Shegu Adeomi. As you reach us online, our Lord will reach you online as well and meet you at the point of all your needs. Remember to wash your hands regularly with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Stay at home, social distance. Let us support our government in the fight against this coronavirus. Jesus is Lord. <laughs>